This is Eleni and Jesse, and we're back for a new video. As you can tell from the title, this video is about our trip of uh, to Canada um, and to oh well to Niagara Falls. So I'm doing this video in, in English, um, and later on we're gonna add sub subtitles in Korean through the YouTube feature. Um, obviously it's not going to be perfect so Jesse will do the editing for that because if I did that editing it would take forever and you guys would never see this video so again as the title says this is uh, our trip to Niagara Falls from our home in the New Haven area in Connecticut um, now this is what you're seeing right now is us we're going through Connecticut right now and oh my god I felt like we were going through Connecticut for like ever um, which is really silly because we were in New York for way longer. Um, so, so most people watching this are not going to be leaving from the New Haven area. Um, maybe you'll leave from New York City or from Boston. Um, I know there's some Korean viewers who are looking into going to Niagara Falls and would like to know how long it would take. Um, and for us, the GPS told us it will take about six hours and 50 minutes to get from our house to our hotel in Niagara Falls. Now, if you're leaving from New York City, it's going to take you about the same time. This is leaving from uh, lower Manhattan, but that is, of course, um, all depending on traffic. Um, now, I think this we passed Massachusetts at this point. Let me go! Let it go! Let it go! Yeah, as you can tell, we were going a little bit crazy. Um, if you're leaving from New York City, like I said, it's going to be about the same time as uh, when we were uh, as as our travel um if you're leaving from boston though i look this up if you're leaving from the south station area it's gonna actually take you about a half hour longer and a lot of people think that oh wow i'm in massachusetts wow. um we were so excited to see that buffalo sign but we i'm higher up i'm closer to maine or i'm closer to canada and it's gonna take me less time but the way where niagara falls is situated it's actually to the west, so um, you're northwest, obviously, but you're you're basically going through the whole state of Ma Massachusetts if you're in Boston, um, which is why it's going to take you longer. Uh, so yeah, so the drive is 450 miles um, from where we are, so about 724 kilometers. Um, holy crap, it took so long. So we left the house around 7 a.m., and we had hoped to leave around six, didn't really happen because we were, uh, we woke up late and um, we took longer than expected to get ready. Um, but we, yeah, we, we left at seven and we didn't arrive until 4 p.m. So if you're doing the math, you're, you're probably like, what took you so long? Because we should have arrived by 1.30 or two, but we didn't get there until four in the afternoon um but there's a lot of reasons why and i'll explain as we go um so yeah so before we left we uh wanted to cut down on food costs and save our money for niagara falls so i made some sandwiches for us and we packed some food on the uh to bring with us on the way up because i mean people who have gone on long trips know that at least for me and I don't know if that's the same for everybody else but if there's no food in the car I feel like I need to stop somewhere to get food um and that could literally slow you down so much um it can a slow you down because you're literally stopping everywhere for food and b you're basically like you're gonna be waiting for that order you're gonna like you're you're gonna be browsing and it's gonna take time whereas like if you brought something with you literally you're gonna eat whatever you have um so yeah so as you can see here we're at the junius ponds rest stop um jesse is holding our sandwiches that we had for lunch um and at this point 
we stopped here because um, Jesse had to go to the bathroom and we had to switch drivers because Jesse had been driving for a while at that time. Um, yeah, so we, the Junius Ponds actually, this rest stop is close to the Finger Lakes. Um, and you saw the sign earlier, but the Finger Lakes are, I, I think it would have been really cool to see the Finger Lakes. Um, but again, we had such a short time in Niagara that I wanted to go um, as fast as we could. Um, clearly not fast enough, but, uh, and I wanted to maximize our time there. And I think Jesse felt the same. Um, so yeah, so this is what the rest stop looks like. This is a typical rest stop in um, New York or in along Route 90 or I-90, I believe this is. Um, you've got your massage chairs um, and you've got like the little store um, where you can buy like small snacks. You've got a Dunkin for coffee. Um, and yeah, so actually we didn't stop that much. And I think it's partly because we did have food, but we only stopped for gas and we stopped, I think, two, three times to switch, two times to switch um, drivers. Um, so yeah, uh, Jesse was telling me about how there's a, uh, this thing, this, uh, that was a, um, a scale right as you walk out of the bathroom and you can put like a quarter in it and it'll tell you uh, your weight, um, which is really odd to have in a rest stop bathroom, but. So here we are, we went outside to eat our actual sandwiches that that I made they're really simple sandwiches um, just ham and cheese with mayo on just regular bread I think it's like whole wheat bread or something like that if you're really curious um, and so yeah so we just sat down and ate um, had a had something to drink um, and relax a little bit stretch our bodies because it was a really long ride even if you're just sitting in the passenger seat you're gonna get so tired like um, and obviously the driver gets even more tired because you always have to be like aware of your surroundings. Um, so yeah, so this was the, the this is the, a little bit of the rest area. It was a, such a beautiful day that day, um, to be outside. So that's why we decided to sit outside and eat. And yeah, we're back on the road now. We stopped for some gas and, um, I think this was probably the last place we filled up before we went to Niagara Falls. I might be wrong. I think we filled up one more time. Um, but so this car that we're driving right now is the Nissan Versa. We got it. We rented it um, from Enterprise um, for this trip specifically. And I went to the counter and the guy was like, we only have a Nissan Versa. And I was like, okay, I guess I don't have a choice. Um, but I'm actually really glad that this was the car because it was small. It was um, and we wanted a compact car and it was like perfect size for us. Um, and it was like, it's, it's not a gas guzzler, obviously, cause it's small, but it was perfect. Cause we like filled it up, I think two times on our way up, which is nothing. Um, and it only cost us maybe like $30, $40 tops to, to, for gas on the way up. Um, which I think is a pretty good deal. Um, it cost me like $40 to like fill up the car that we have, um, once. So, so we're back on the road. I, this is like, this is the portion that will tire you out. We were in New York for so long. Um, we, I could not tell you how long we were driving through New York. It was just so, like, everywhere you went, it was just New York, New York, New York, New York. And I love New York, but when you're on the road for this long and you're in the same state for this long, you're going to get tired. Um, so, yeah, so this is me driving right now. Um, and I don't think we switch again. I think this is the last time we switched, but we switched. I drove through Connecticut and then we switched at one point in Massachusetts, I believe. Uh, and then we switched again in Junius Ponds where you just saw us earlier. Yeah, 
You can't have a road trip without music, and nothing is better music than Usher and Alicia Keys, with the exception of BTS. Um, but I wasn't allowed to play BTS for that long because there's two people in my car, so that's all I'm going to say about that. Again, depending on your traffic, it'll take you longer or less time than, than us, but we had pretty good traffic up in the New York area, um, except we got to this one point at one point. Oh my god! Now it falls. Um, yeah, we were really excited to see that sign. We were like, holy crap, Niagara Falls is almost here. Um, so yeah. Niagara! So where we're, we, like, I don't know if this will come up in the video. Yeah, I don't think this is in the video, but what we're driving through right now is actually Niagara Falls, New York. So there's the New York side and the Canadian side, right? And so we're staying in the Canadian side, but this is the New York, um, Niagara Falls, Niagara Falls, New York. Um, and now we're about to enter the Rainbow Bridge, which is the connector between New York, Niagara Falls, New York and Niagara Falls, um, uh, Ontario, Canada. So as you see here, you we went through we had an easy pass on our rental car and you go through the toll and I believe it's like six dollars or something for US cars. It's really weird. It's like it's different prices for whatever car you have, um, whatever easy pass you have, if you have Canadian easy pass or uh, American uh, easy pass. Um, and so yeah, so here we're going through we're going over the Rainbow Bridge and we took we spent so much time on this bridge. So as you see here, this is the actual border. So this is where it goes from the US to Canada. And now we're in Canada. Most people think that um, where the CBP officers, the Canadian Border Patrol officers, is the actual border. But what we just crossed is the actual border, um, at least the physical border. But it makes obviously more sense for them to put the immigration officers at each end so when you're going back to the u.s the immigration stop where you get checked is actually behind us already um and where we're going right now is immigration on the canadian side just like any other immigration place that you go to they're gonna ask you why you're here um, where you're staying how many days you're staying all that good stuff so yeah so we're gonna stop the video here because the next vi video we upload will be on what we did in our three days in niagara so more of a vlog style so please look forward to that um, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of our videos and see you next time bye